I need you to go down below and write what your current tire setup and if you actually dig it or not because historically talking about tire things is not very interesting. It's not even fun, but we try our best, you know, like it's just something that people like to know but not really talk about. It's kind of like when you're in health class in eighth grade and you don't really want to know, but you have to know and it helps you when you're in college. Anyway. You could just get snow tires. Snow, they handle everything. And if you can't handle me at my all seasons, then you don't deserve me at my winter tires. <laughs> I actually thought about that as a joke and it was terrible. When it comes to tires, they're the, usually the first thing that people think about when they are buying wheels. A bit more of an afterthought, that one. Then you sort by price low to high and pray that whatever piece of rubber that you bought holds and you're not surprised by some unfortunate news nine months later about how your tire defeated and now you have to pay for 18 months of car repairs. I tried to make the joke adult oriented and it didn't work, but I'm sticking to it because I had two bangers. That one might've been a miss. But anyway, there are some banging tires out there that don't cost an arm and a leg and we're here to just a little chat about it. I'm Alex, alex.fi on Instagram. And today we're gonna be talking about the best bang for your buck tires out there right now. And if you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe so we can keep making banging videos like this. And if you're looking for aftermarket wheels, tires, or suspension, be sure to hit us up at fitmentindustries.com where we have everything your little heart could possibly desire. This new sweatshirt itches a little bit, but we're good now. You may notice, where do you get this? You can't yet. But if you like it. You can let Gels know and maybe he'll release it early. Anyway, when you're looking at the best value tires, it's important to know exactly what you're looking for. If it's reliability, is it some sort of street performance, all around function, size availability, because now every car comes with 19 inch wheels for some reason and all that boring, Stuff. In our eyes, the best bang for your buck is gonna come from those that perform the best in pretty much as many scenarios as possible. Consider it like a jack of all trades that kind of sort of specializes in maybe a thing or two, but really it's all just about being good at most of the stuff. So right off the bat, we would talk about is the Nitto Neogen. Now, this was a tire that Nitto made specifically for aftermarket enthusiasts and you need to be good at just about everything. Nitto calls it an ultra high performance tire. Now, I feel every tire company out there Everything's ultra for some reason, and I'm not entirely sure why. But anyway, that may exceed what the Nitto Neogen was actually used for, but it is still a pretty gnarly value for tire. It has an inner shoulder block that is one continuous piece, which adds stability and actually reduces flex, which means the tire can actually wear evenly. This also reduces tread flex, which also keeps the tire burning continuously, even with some negative camber points, which Nitto even mentions in their description of their tires. Since lots of boyos with the old slanty stuff use these tires a lot. And you have to remember that when they're creating those outer shoulder tread blocks, a lot of times the camber on the inside blocks is also needed as well, which Nitto Neogen does, and it's, it's got some pretty fancy stuff, and that's really why people like it. It also got some good siping, helps kick out water and slush, and it's pretty quiet. It's not really that pricey either when you pair it with wheels and comes in pretty much your standard typical sizing. So you're probably looking at spending around 400 to 600, depending on the size. Now, next up would be probably a newfound favorite for a lot of people. It would be the Continental Tire Extreme Con contact DWS 06, holy mouthful of words, okay? It comes with some insane stuff, like a 50,000 mile limited warranty, all right? If this was a commercial, they'd talk about that. Three year roadside assistance, a 60 day trial, and has an insane tread pattern that just refuses to let water stay on it and can handle just about everything. Now it's gotten extremely popular because of the sizing that it comes in and it's not the cheapest, but it's all about bang here, boys, okay? And I ain't just talking about the energy drink that makes me feel colors. I had one for the first time and it was probably the second worst thing in my life. The tire has a fantastic load index, speed rating, tread wear, and warranty that makes it a bang of a tire choice if you're trying to find something for all year around. It's not the most aggressive thing in the world, but it would make your mom proud that you made an adult purchase because they look like an adult set of tires. Jumping over to something a bit more fun to look at would be the Toyo Extenza HP2s. Now Toyo has always made good tires, but because there are so many different models, it can be a wee bit confusing on which one to pick. The Extenza HP2 does best as an all season tire with most of its focuses on the three seasons and not really the fourth one that's cold and wet and sucks. Anyway, wet and handling, nailed it, okay? Tread life, decent. Quiet ride, <laughs> booyah. It has a unidirectional tread design, so it looks good. Has double cut tapered lines, which is a lot of fancy stuff, which pretty much just means it improves hard braking. 
and about 4 million siping channels to minimize wear, have a quiet ride, and handle any really sort of inclement weather, and a little bit of light snow if you want to. We like the Extensas right now because of how well they handle the three seasons, and they don't look half bad. Plus, it's a Toyo tire, so it actually gets the job done pretty well. Comes in some pretty decent sizes. Now, next up would be the Hankook Ventus V2 Concept 2. What is with all of these weird long tire names? They don't have to be this long. The tire does a damn good job as a tire for your smaller wheels. It actually doesn't have a lot of the wider sizing options, but it's got carbon compounds that keep the tire alive pretty much forever, a center rib block to help increase traction, newer materials on the inside to keep the tire alive longer, and it's just an overall pretty beefy tire. The biggest issue is like we kind of talked about before though, boys, it only, and girls, 2019. Just up to a 245 right now, and because of that, the price on these is pretty competitive enough to where it makes sense if you're looking for just a forever tire on maybe a daily driver. Because there's not so many sizes, they don't have to stock as much. Because they don't have to stock as much, they can get the price lower. Because they get the price lower, because they're making more, they're moving more units, it's just a big operational thing. Pay attention to an operational management class. And last but not least would be the Yokohama Advance Sport AS. Yokohama tires always kind of just like been there. Kind of like the one cousin that you could always call and they come pick you up at 2 a.m. in the morning on a Saturday. The Advan tire is that. The Advance Sport AS doesn't have a crazy tread design, but what it does have is pretty much everything to handle anything which is what it's all about. Performance shoulder blocks to maintain control in the hard corners. Inside those blocks are an additional two-in-one block to maintain traction within the turn. So you got your outer block, and then you got your two-in-one block right next to it, it's pretty neat. And the inside bits have your standard sipes and grooves for the water and all that escaping. But with the asymmetrical tread design, they're able to throw a ton more in there for those rainy days with your summer car. And to keep the noise down, each block consists of different sizing and sipes to keep your Post Malone track the only thing that you're hearing on the inside. So if you look at the outside of the tread, it starts to get smaller, smaller, smaller blocks, and there's indifferent sizing blocks all over the place. Kind of just helps keep it overall quiet because if you've ever been on a drag radio before, not the quietest thing in the world, okay? The best bang for your buck tires aren't only about price, but what you get for every dollar you put in. Now, whether you're looking for an all season or winter tire, it's super duper extra important to get something that keeps your happy ass on the asphalt, especially when the weather isn't the best. So what do you think? Let us know if you think we missed anything. And of course, if you're looking for aftermarket wheels, tires, or suspension, be sure to check out fitmentindustries.com. And PS, if you think we forgot about Nankang and Atsu, we didn't, okay? I'm just waiting for the comment section to say Nankang Gang with the heart because there's always that one guy that does it and gets like 400 hearts or thumbs up or whatever it is YouTube decides is the emoji of the month because apparently that's what they do. I don't know, just saying. Anyway, and if you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to do so. I'm Alex from Fitment Industries. We will see you later. Peace.